big deal. I know. vlog the first moving vlog of this series we're moving to Cape Town we are going back to South Africa we freaking loved it there and yeah we made our decision we didn't want to continue being on the move constantly and traveling constantly Ross and I are in places in our lives right now where we want to be settled we want to have a home and so it felt like the perfect fit so this is where we're going and so I've tried to anticipate as much as I can so that I don't feel so stressed and overwhelmed at the end and I can just plan it all out because there's always unexpected things unexpected things that will happen I'm starting to back up my whole life I've been selling a lot of things recently and I'm also planning on putting some things into storage at my family's house. It's a very weird start of the year because moving in the beginning of February, it's weird because we started a new year, but there's still like this whole chunk of month of transition now before we actually moved and are settled. So yeah, it does feel very transitional, but we're so beyond excited. In this video, I'm gonna be starting the packing. Even though I'm not gonna bring that much, I want to plan like a really nice capsule. It's not gonna be really capsule, but wardrobe that is gonna be versatile while I'm there so I don't feel restricted and I have everything that I need. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna try on some pieces and prep some outfits to see if the clothes that I'm bringing are gonna be versatile enough and I'm gonna be styling these outfits with shoes from Vivaya. For example, those very nice slipper ones. I ordered three pairs of shoes. I ordered these beautiful ankle boots. Um, these are like sock boots. These are made from recycled materials and ethical wool. I've worn over the holidays. They're a great winter shoe. They're so comfy, although they have a heel and I typically don't wear heeled shoes that much, but these were super comfy and I kept them on like all of the Christmas Eve and also a little like Christmas party I did with my friends. I'll show you the outfit that I wore with those. But yeah, I could wear them like also with a pair of jeans on my day-to-day -day life. So, so comfortable. Another pair that I got from them are these loafers. I didn't have like a pair of basic loafers and they're such an easy throw-on shoe and they're super like classic and uh, they look very put together as opposed to like a sneaker, which is most of what I wear. But these are comfortable, like so comfortable, so soft and really beautiful. I love the slightly like ribbed fluffy material. These ones are made from recycled plastic bottles and eco fluffy yarn. They're really so so comfy and yeah they just elevate an outfit and make you look super sleek. So so excited about those. These are more of like a transitional piece or like more for warmer winters. And then finally I got a pair of slippers. I got those in like a very like nude beige color which I think is so pretty and flattering. I have another pair of slipper in black so I thought it would be really nice to have a lighter color. And these ones are also made from fully recycled materials and they have like a squared toe. They have a very unique design and shape. You could use this for an at home slipper but I could also totally wear those out so yeah those are really cute as well and very original now let's get into the outfits i'm gonna go through pieces that i've already put into my suitcase but i want to double check and also keep in mind in cape town it's gonna be more like summer right now okay so for the outfits they're gonna be like summer outfits but i'm also gonna do some slightly warmer outfits because the evenings can be a little bit chilly in cape town in south africa so we're gonna see what I got. More summery outfit out of this and 
with the slippers, very casual for like a night out. Yeah, really nice. I like this a lot actually. They're so comfortable. <laughs> I am gonna be bringing this PJ set, which should be worn outside as well. I would totally wear this out personally. So this could be like an at home, at home outfit. Can really be used as like an at home slipper or an outside slipper. They're really so comfy and fluffy. An outfit to go out for a coffee or a walk and bring like a nice tote bag. I really like how those are so versatile and different looking than like your regular slipper. Next outfit is going to be a more like when it's like warm but it's not so warm. So you want to have a layer that was my daily outfit in Cape Town last time. Like I always had shorts but like a jumper in case. Maybe wearing a top under. So. This would be like an outfit and definitely as well with a tote bag to carry my laptop and everything and these shoes are so comfy to walk around in. They so, they're so mushy, they're so soft. Let's try to do another outfit with those shoes as well, maybe for like more of a date. This is actually an outfit that is from a local brand in Cape Town from a friend of mine. So, so cute. So you could wear this, like this cute set. And then wear the shoes with it. So the only shoes that I'm not going to be bringing with me to Cape Town yet are the boots because it's summer there so I'm going to bring them in the fall because I might be coming back to Europe at some point in the spring here so fall there um, but in the meantime I'm going to bring the other pairs and yeah they're so versatile so comfy also one thing that I want to mention is that the shoes are extremely lightweight especially for traveling and because they're bendable they're going to fit in the suitcase like super th slim and they're not gonna take up much space so if you're traveling and you can't bring so much or you want to build like a capsule wardrobe or a minimalist packing thing um, these shoes might be the answer for you the loafers are machine washable so if you get them in the lighter color or even those one if you ever want to put them in the wash you could totally do that yeah I've been super happy and I don't collaborate often with sustainable shoe brands there aren't that many and I've been so happy to collaborate with Vivaya because they have amazing designs and the shoes are actually really good quality and comfortable to the foot and finally there is a discount code which is Kian and that offers you 18% off the whole website and I'll put also more information down below if you have any questions or if you've tried some of their shoes and you have any recommendations or feedback let us know in the comments um, if you have some tips for me about how to pack more minimally for Cape Town for a move like this, let me know because it is a journey, but we're getting there. I have to go now because I have a call, but I'll continue the packing tomorrow. Oh, let's go! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs>
to go to Cape Town. Before I show you the books, I thought it would be interesting also for me to share the notebooks that I use and also what I'm bringing with me. So, I have in total four different notebooks and they all serve a different purpose. So, let's start with the small one. It's from the brand Carnet Numero. It's a really nice brand. I received it as a gift. This is a small notebook that I use for like courses that I take, like short-term courses. Then I have my journal where I have this like notebooks for a really long time and I was not using it and I thought it would be nice to use something very thin. This one is from Moleskin and it's a very thin uh, blank page one and I love it. Very lovely. I do some drawings and some collaging in there, and yeah, I'm gonna use it. It's gonna last me not for so long like the other one that I had, but I will. I have already a bigger one, like I had last time. When this one is finished, I thought just now that I'm moving, it's nice to take something more like light, and also I can also more easily like carry it around with me in my day-to-day -day life because it's also lighter and smaller. Then I have my bullet journal. This is from Thin Bats, and there's a code in the description for you guys. And yeah, this is just my regular planner that I use, and I just love this notebook so much. I've had it for over a year now, and there is still a lot of pages left, so I thought I would do 2022 in this as well, and hopefully it will be just enough for me to finish another year in this, and if not, I will have to get a new one, but hopefully it will be fine. And then from the bats, I also have the Pro, which is slightly bigger. This one I use for my uh, courses on finance. I thought it would motivate me a lot to have like a really beautiful notebook. And the pages are really thick in this one. But this is a great like notebook for the courses because I mostly, I will take them from home and so I don't have to carry it around. And for the books that I'm bringing, um, there is quite a few. The first one is The Woman Who Run With The Wolves, uh, Myths and Stories of the Wild Woman Archetype. This is a book that I started reading when I was in Cape Town in November still, and I love it, but I'm still at the beginning of it. It's there's quite a lot, it's pretty dense, and I stopped reading it when I came to Switzerland. I wanted to get other books read before I left so that I could get rid of them, and this one I knew it was a book that I, I would want to keep, so I decided to put it aside for a bit and decided to bring it back with me so I will read it once I'm there. Then I'm bringing The Voice of Knowledge by Don Miguel Ruiz, A Practical Guide to Inner Peace. I read The Four Agreements and The Mastery of Love and some other, some other of his books as well and I really love those two that I mentioned the most and these books are really like a comfort book for me like yes it is a spiritual book but it, they're so easy and like practical and I don't know I just feel so loved and held when I read these books so I thought this would be great it's also like pretty small and they're really easy to read. I actually bought it in Cape Town at a secondhand bookstore. So I'm bringing it back with me. And this is really the kind of book that I read when I want to get through like a spiritual book quick. And also I don't want something that's so dense and like hard to get into, um, but still like has really beautiful insight. And yeah, so take this one and then I have the Body Keeps the Score, Mind, Brain and Body in the Transformation of Trauma by Bessel van der Kolk. This is a book that I've been wanting to read for a long time and I bought it last year because for those of you who've been following me for a while or for those of you who are new here, I started a body psychotherapy last summer and this really is like about the how trauma gets stored into the body and how can we release it and how it manifests in many forms, like physically. 
and so I would love to learn more about this topic. It's been extremely interesting also in my own experiences um, so far, like how I've been able to sense and feel different things. So I'm really excited to read this book. It has amazing reviews. Also the cover is just gorgeous. Then I am bringing a fiction book, which is I think the only fiction book I'm bringing because I have a lot of fiction books on my Kindle as well. This is Breast of Eggs by Mieko Kawakami. This is a Japanese author. I haven't read much Japanese literature if at all yet, so I'm really excited about this one. This is a book that I received for my birthday by one of my best friends, and this is a story about three girls that um, are part of a poor neighborhood in Tokyo, and then they go on with their lives, and then um, eight years later they meet again and it's all just about like women in our society and the roadblocks they've encountered and the um, women like relationships and friendships with one another and like sisterhood and things like that so really really excited about this book maybe not something i would have like picked but that's why i love receiving books by friends because it really challenges me to read different things and open up my mind and this was really highly rated this was like one of the top 10 books of the year in 2020 and also like a female author and I don't know I'm just really really stoked for that and then I'm bringing two books from the same author which is from Phyllis Crystal these books I didn't know about and I found them recently in like a book cabin when I returned some others and this one is about reconnecting to the love energy don't bypass your heart this is about opening the heart chakra and everything about love but mostly like within yourself and then obviously how it gets projected onto families life partners friendships and everything so I'm just really curious about it. And then this one I'm also very curious about, even more, is Cutting the Ties of Karma, Understanding the Patchwork of, our, of Your Past Lives. I don't know so much about past lives and karma, and this is really a topic that I'm super curious about. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, this is perfect to like learn a little bit more about it than, you know, just open my mind and see if it resonates or if it doesn't. I don't know, I've just been drawn to this topic of past lives more recently um, for multiple reasons and so very curious about this book so we'll see. And then the last book that I have planned to take is Tantra, The Supreme Understanding by Osho. I read a book by Osho last year which I really loved. It was called Love, Freedom and Aloneness and I loved it, it was so great, I read it on my Kindle and this then, uh, Ross bought this when we met in Mexico and we started reading it together but it was pretty deep and I think it was just a book that it's better you read alone so we can, you can really be focused in it so we only st had started and then I like put it aside and never finished it or continued reading it so this is really something that I want to be reading and I know this is a book he will be want to read as well so we can share it and this is not just, I think like when we talk about Tantra, a lot of people think about like the tantric practices, um, sex and sexual practices, but this is not uh, what this book is about. Like obviously I think it, it, there might be some parts about it, but I'm not even that sure. Yeah, honestly, I don't really know what to expect from this book. Um, it's more like a spiritual teaching book. So. Very, very curious about it. Really liked his other books, so I'm hoping this one will impact me as well. Um, yeah, so I'm also bringing it as a um, desire to actually finish it and not keep it on my shelf forever. And then I have also books on my Kindle. I have received the Kindle many years in the past and I use it quite often, especially also when I travel, it's very convenient and I would not buy a Kindle right now if I had to purchase one just because it belongs to Amazon and I prefer supporting smaller companies. So in Switzerland there is something called Tolino. There are lots of different brands for e-readers and if you want to support a smaller company there are other options than Kindle. I love physical books and I also like sometimes reading on the Kindle, it can be really convenient when you travel, when you want to minimize your amount of possessions. Um, 
and it's also nice like to be able to highlight so much on the Kindle and I don't know I think it's just also a great tool if you don't want to own so many physical books or it can also be uh, financially more interesting because ebooks um, for the Kindle are a little cheaper also than hardcovers and yeah so I do read on my Kindle as well so I have many books on my Kindle which I will bring and then I also really love to exchange books with friends or uh, source my books from secondhand bookstores there was some really great ones in Cape Town or also just um, go to like a local bookshop and support a local company um, there in South Africa there was some really great ones and they had really nice selections so that's it for the books I'm bringing maybe it gives you some ideas of books you could be reading this year as well alongside uh, me and then maybe we could share about it Thank you so much for watching and so excited to be going to Cape Town and to take you guys along. It's really close and um, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Love you all so much and thank you for the support. Bye bye!